Hello everybody, Gilligan Kruger, 0829 here, and welcome to another announcement slash discussion topic video. Well, summer's almost over everyone, and a lot of things are about to change. I'm about to move into my new location, as you can see from the boxes and whatnot behind me. But with the end of summer, of course, comes the end of the summer movie season. And this summer, we had a lot of big films. Some of them were fun and exciting thrillers. Others were, frankly, cures for the common insomnia. Some of them are likely to be nominated for Oscars come January. And others are Razzie bait. But... We're not going to be talking about criticisms today. Today we're going to be talking about box office status. And this was a very big year. Even bigger than most people expected. Because three movies came out this summer that made over a billion dollars. They are, in order, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Transformers Dark of the Moon, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. All of them were expected to do well, but I don't, I didn't think personally they do nearly as well as they did. And today I'm going to talk about my quick little summary and reaction to them making as much as they did. Let's start with Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, which was the biggest shocker for me. Because, as you remember, I did the series review on this. I did a series review on all three of these. And through these, I addressed that I definitely know that these are popular movies. People love these films, and people love the ride they're based on. However, I was surprised that Stranger Tides made more than a billion for two reasons. The first being that while... Dead Man's Chest also made a billion dollars at the box office. It's one of the other ten films that have done it. At World's End saw quite a decrease in what I don't think was even close to the grosses Dead Man's Chest did. It was still among the highest grossing movies of the year in 2007. I think either It or Spider-Man 3 was the highest grosser. But it wasn't as much as Dead Man's Chest. And I was thinking... On Stranger Tides would probably do just as well, if not a little bit weaker, maybe a little bit stronger if it's lucky. But it actually did, did the the impossible. It passed one billion, and I was just shocked. And the other reason it surprises me so much is, as far as I'm concerned, well, as far as I know, that's a better way to put it, this got the weakest critical reception of all four films it wasn't liked nearly as much as the other three. Myself, I did enjoy it. I thought it was better than At World's End, and as good, maybe a little bit better than Dead Man's Chest, because of several things. But I knew critics didn't really like it, and I heard a lot of comments on YouTube from my sister, too, who said this was the weakest movie, and that it wasn't all too great. But that's... Those are the two reasons why I was shocked that P On Stranger Tides did as well as it did. But, you know what? Props to you, Disney. Props to you, Jerry Bruckheimer, Johnny Depp, Rob Marshall, all of you. You did it again, and I wouldn't mind seeing more pirates. Just give me a while. The other two movies I have a lot more to say about, though, are Transformers 3 and Harry Potter Part 7. Part... Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Now, I theorized, and I talked to a lot of my friends about it, that these were going to be the two biggest movies of the year, since Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince were the second and third highest grossing movies of 2009. Only behind Avatar, which, again, also is one of is the t at the top of the Billion Dollar Club, let's put it like that. And my theory was that it would be close, but Harry Potter would have done a little bit better than Transformers, since it was the end of the franchise, there's really no sense of continuing it, and there's might be a slight chance of continuing Transformers Dark of the Moon, even though Michael Bay and Shia LaBeouf both said it would be the end. Now, I knew these were going to be big movies, but I had no idea that... Oh, wow, it's still a shocker just how much they did. Like, 
These are now the third and fifth highest grossing movies of all time. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is behind only Avatar and Titanic. And Transformers Dark of the Moon is only behind those three films. And Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. I'm just shocked that they did so well. Because I first found out that Harry Potter beat the one million point, beat Transformers, just as I theorized, only recently, and I was thinking, well, you know, if Harry Potter did it, it's not too unlikely that Transformers will do it too, so, again, when I started seeing the box office's results, and that these were climbing past 900 million, nine and a half hundred million even, I started to be like, oh wow, these, these could be some of the biggest grossing of all time it's completely possible and now they are so again i love both of these movies these were my two favorite movies of the year so far uh, i liked harry potter a little bit more considering my knowledge of the past transformers reincarnations but i both loved them and props to michael bay props to david yates props to steve close jk rowling Props to Shia LaBeouf. Props to everyone involved to these movies. Congratulations on making the one billion mark and being now part of the five highest grossing movies of all time. So that's a quick little rundown of what I thought of the three highest grossing movies of all time. Again, I loved all three of them. I highly recommend them. But I'm still really shocked. Would not have thought back in January that these three were going to be billion dollar movies. But for the end of this video, I'm going to leave you with three discussion questions. Number one, are you surprised that any of these three or all of them did as well as they did in grosses? Number two, what were your favorite movies of the summer? And number three, are there any movies coming out at the end of the year essentially in the fall movie season, or maybe even in 2012, that might have a chance of also being in the Billion Dollar Club. And that's all I'm leaving you with. I hope you all had a great summer. I hope you all had a great summer movie season as well. And until next time, peace!